Puppy dollar, it's gotta be good. Oh man. Oh. 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 Hunting is not about the trophy. It's about the challenges that we face as hunters, and it is our choice how we pursue our prey. Hunting doesn't end when you spot your game. That's when the challenge begins. Closing the distance, becoming part of your surroundings, playing the wind, being patient, and waiting for that moment of truth. From the maximum highs to the ultimate lows, there is no way of predicting how things will turn out. For us, it's about the adventure. The journey. The moments that we share as a family. This, this is, is why, why we hunt. hunt. This, this is, is our choice. choice. Hey, welcome to this week's The Choice. This week, well, we're spotting some deer. We're up on this ridge and we're watching some deer down there. See that guy? Yeah, I know, right there in the beans. That's awesome. Hey, this week though, we're gonna head out to Powder River, Montana for some whitetail hunting. Yeah, we got Freddie, the emotional one, going after. And Uncle Hop. And, and Joe. Yeah, and I'm, Mike from Zook Cabins. I mean, all of them are out all there. All kinds of action going on. Yeah. But why they're there, we're, We're here, here getting ready for our season at home. Lucky and Logo? Yes, Lucky Logo this week is Thompson Center. Thompson Center, man, the <laughs> ultimate rifle. Yes, so watch for that logo and someone's going something great from that. We'll tell you how to do that. In the meantime, we're gonna head out to Powder River, Montana and go get some whitetails. Sorry, I hate when we're spotting. I can't talk loud. You should spot more often. Around here in Montana with Powder River Outfitters. This is the last night of our hunt. We saw a just stud buck in here. We think he's pushing bow and maybe bigger. In the southeast wind last time, that buck came out 70 yards out. So we're hoping he'll come up on these three trails tonight, walk right under our stand. If not, we got a shot down range here a little ways where he feeds up to us. We've had bucks in front of us, a wind shift and blow them out. It just, we just can't seal the deal with winds like that. So. Were you not recording? Oh no. Oh no. Are you going? Go. I think I have a little bit. You're not recording. My gosh. Oh my god, I just shot a booner. Were you not recording? Oh no.
Oh no. the trigger on he spun mm. and when he spun I hit him a little back it could be liver I don't know yet this is Mike's real first filming hunting expedition and that buck was behind some brush and I kept trying to get on it get him to get on it he finally got on it but he was so nervous because of getting on it he didn't hit record anyway I just put a beam in a Spitfire Max to the Biggest buck of my life at Powder River Outfitters. We just heard Holly. Oh boy. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> Hoppy's hollering, it's gotta be good. <laughs> they must have found him. <laughs> Mike, they found him, buddy. Hoppy, you better not be messing, brother man. Oh my gosh. Look at all the junk on this guy. <sighs> Powder River. Powder River Outfitters, baby. Yeah, Powder River Outfitters. <laughs> You're going safe, Freddy. That's the stuff you dream about as a hunter. I mean, at least me, I like all kinds of junk. And this guy's got it. I want to thank CJ for uh, letting me come out here with Mike and Zook Cabins, and I want to thank Mike for thinking to call me and ask me to come with them. I just, uh, again, the wildest dreams. Ralph and Vicky, thank you guys for opportunities you give me. Hoppy, Freddie, and CJ and Hoppy, thank you guys for finding that deer. Biggest buck of my life, Powder River Outfitters. We got a plan. We're going to pull up behind these hay bales here. We're going to try and slip down uh, a couple hundred yards closer to the field, see if we can get in range uh, to get a shot on them and, and seal the deal here. We got down here to the hay bales. We saw one of the buck. The other one's around here somewhere. We'll uh, try and locate them and see if we can slip down a little closer. It's probably 250 yards or so from here. Let's sneak up here on the corner of these bales. Let's see if we can get a little stay below them. Yep. That sticker book's still going. See him? Yeah. How far is that? That's a ways. That's a par four. We can, if those guys move left, we could almost slip down to this hay bale and get on that sticker buck. We may bump them, but these guys may just stay put. Because you would uh, rather shoot. Whichever one's standing in range. <laughs> Everything's kind of headed away. I mean, the worst that's going to happen is they're going to move. We're going to move them and come up with another plan. Yeah. Let's do it. We close the distance on them again. Came down from that other set of hay bales. We've probably cut off 200 yards or so. Try to keep the hay bales between us and that buck. We're gonna see if we can make something happen here. If not, we'll come up with another plan and try again. Can't push one of these off and roll it down there, huh? <laughs> I wish. If Freddy sets up here, you and I can belly crawl to that ditch. Right now they're in a tough spot. So either we sit tight and hope they come back, Are you... or we try and make it happen. Mm -hmm. They blow us, they blow out of here, and then we try something else. Or you wing one at 400 yards. <laughs> I hope they run this way. Is that like a call? Huh? That's your 300 wind mag call? Yeah. You, you could get on your hands and knees and almost keep that brush. 
so that we could get to the hay bales. Yeah. The next round of hay bales and then go from there. Let's do it. Everybody's turned, looking the other way. Let's just sneak along this bridge. He's 380 right now, and he's bedded down. It's like 220 from this dike to the other dike once you get down there. Is that the sticker buck working those does back this direction? He's got his head down now. I felt good about that one too. I didn't jump or nothing. It didn't miss him by much. All right, we found this. We found this buck. He's got crazy stuff all over the place. Snuck down around these hay bales. Crawled across the ground for another 80 or 100 yards. Closed the distance down to, uh, we're guessing about 340. Squeezed one off and felt good about it. Chad said a little low, went right underneath him. So, uh, might have been a little farther than we thought. We'll keep trying. All right, day number three, afternoon number three here, Powder River Outfitters, Broadus, Montana. It has been an incredible week already. We have seen a bunch of good deer, just haven't been able to pull it together yet. Mike's had an opportunity at a couple muleys the last couple mornings. This morning they put a long stalk on, crawled about 200 yards in the frozen sage grass to get to him. He let one rip at about 3.30 and it just felt just a little bit short on a really, really awesome mule deer. It just had junk going everywhere. So I'm up to bat again this afternoon. Same thing tonight we've done the last three nights. It's been very, very good for us. We're set up here on the edge of the river have heavy Russian olive thickets in here. The deer are rutting the does and keeping them pinned right down in these thickets. So got the rattling antlers, my HS True Talker. We're gonna push the antlers together and see if we can pull a big old nasty Powder River buck out of that bottom. Got 
रहा हूं Mike, stay on him, brother man. He's gonna go down. Stay on him, Mike. There he goes, baby. There he goes. Boom! Thank you, TC Icon. Wow! Woo! First setup of the afternoon, baby. Ooh, and I just killed my biggest buck ever. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he gave me a second shot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. First set up of the afternoon, big eight. Big eight pointer comes running in, stops right there and Mike's struggling to get on him. I'm going, Mike, tell me you got him, tell me you got him. First shot, totally blew it. He stopped out there about 100 yards, I grunted a couple times, and he comes back, baby, and the icon laid it on him, brother, give me some love, yes, sir, yes, sir. Woo, yes, thank you, Lord. Oh my goodness, Woo, I'm gonna puke. I can't stand here knowing that, that my biggest deer is dead right there, come on. He went down, he piled up right over there by that Russian olive. Let's get over here and look at him. That is a huge eight pointer, huge eight pointer. Ah, oh, so blessed. He was standing right here the first time I shot and blew it. And I know it was me, I was trying to shoot him offhand and I flinched when I shot. And he ran back behind this stuff and I couldn't get on him and I grunted a couple times and he come out just far enough past this deadfall that I could get on him. He's right over here. He's right here. He's right here. I cannot believe what I am getting ready to put my hands on. Look at that. Oh my word. I can't believe it. That is an awesome deer. That, oh, I'm just shook up, man. I, I'm just blessed. The good Lord blessed me today with an awesome, awesome deer. He is just an incredible eight. I gotta say thanks to Ralph and Vic for all the opportunities they've given me. And all the guys out here at Powder River Outfitters, Mike there behind the camera, and the good Lord above for giving me the opportunity at an awesome, awesome deer. Was that a hunt or what? I mean, Congrats, huh? Powder Joe, River. Guy. Freddy. You guys, thanks so much. And you guys, man, Joe. Huh? Yeah, that was awesome. Wow. What a stud of a deer. No doubt. Anywhere. I mean, hey, that. And if you happen to see the Lucky Logo, which was Thompson see. Center. Rifles, baby. You need to log on thechoice.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to win some great stuff from TC, as well as a bunch of other manufacturers. Next week. Next week, BC, spot and stalk Woo, black bears West. on Vancouver Island. How cool is that? So thanks for making your choice. The choice. All right, let's go. Now be cool.